Hello, my old school soul food family. <clears throat> Jeff Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm still doing my kind of mama and my mother's favorite, but this one here is kind of special. When y'all get this video, it'll be her birthday, March 21st, 2024. If she lived to see it, if she had to live to see it, she would have been 79 years old today, y'all. My mom would have been 79 years old. She passed away in 77. So she been gone almost two years. And it just, very emotion hits every year, especially on Christmas, you know, her birthday and Mother's Day, of course, those three days. <clears throat> Not particular hard, even on my birthday, because she would always go out of her way on my birthday. I always get that call for my mom on her birthday. But the last few years of her life, you know, she was diabetic because she couldn't eat a lot of sweet things, even though she'd be cheating and eating sweetness. Uh, I would make her a pound cake with no ice and nothing like that. And I promised myself I'm going to do it every year in her honor. If I have to just eat, if I have to just make the pound cake and eat a piece and throw it in the garbage, I will because I'm gonna keep honor and memory through that. And there's three particular pound cakes I used to make for her. One was buttermilk, one was cream cheese, and the one I'm doing today, which is pretty much a favorite, was sour cream pound cake. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna put the candles on it. I'm gonna take a thumbnail and then I'm gonna uh, eat the cake. In her honor, because like I say, today, March 21st, 2024, she would have been 79 years old. So I want y'all to kind of join me and wish my mom a happy heavenly birthday. And I will be going to visit her today. Of course, she's not there, but her remains are there. I'll be going to the cemetery today like I do on every special day. And, you know, kind of clean up her final resting place, give her some birthday flowers. So, so y'all pray for me as I make my journey there today uh, to do that. So, with that being said, let me get going here on this cake. It is very simple. Y'all seen me make this before. If you haven't, welcome to the welcome to the pound cake journey here. All we gonna do? We got our all we have here. We have butter, three sticks, which is a cup and a half. Cause some people don't do sticks in their country. They don't know about the sticks. So every stick is four ounces. So to let y'all know if y'all uh, playing long at home, four ounces is a half a cup. If you want to get more detail, four ounces is a half a cup, a uh, fourth of a pound, uh, one stick. I have a cup and a half here. I have three sticks of butter, which is 12 ounces of butter here. I got three cups of sugar, three cups of flour. I got six eggs, room temperature. Everything here is room temperature. I got some baking powder, sour cream, vanilla, and I got a little creme bouquet. And you can use pound cake uh, extract as well, which I'll probably put in there as well. Once this thing gets going, I'm going to put a little pound cake uh, extract in there as well. If you don't have pound cake extract, it doesn't matter. Just put you some vanilla extract in there and a little lemon extract or orange extract will bring it to the next level as well. So anyway, let's get started on here on this... Uh, Pound cake, like I say, can pretty much make this in my sleep, y'all. Anybody made pound cake, y'all know how it works. I'm gonna cream this butter and sugar together to get a nice, light consistency. Then we're gonna slowly add our eggs to this. And uh, one at a time and so on. So anyway, let me go grab my pound cake extract. And I'll let this do its thing. We'll be right back. Put this thing together. Old school sour cream pound cake. For my mom's birthday and her honor like I do every year. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. And y'all see how fluffy this is, y'all? This is what you want. See how fluffy this has gotten? That's what you want in your pound cake, y'all. That's what you want. So we're going to slowly add the eggs. Little by little. One by one, if possible. Sometimes two will fall in there. Do not panic. If you got two to go in at one time, it ain't no big deal. It ain't the end of the world. Right, let me scrape. 
scrape this down, y'all. Now I'm going to add my vanilla to this. I got my pound cake extract. Add that to that. Just a little. And my cream creme bouquet. I didn't say kitchen bouquet this time, Kenna. This makes the cake so moist, y'all, and unbelievable. The creme bouquet. Okay. I think last time in my live I said I was saying a uh, kitchen bouquet. You don't want to put no kitchen bouquet in you. Only Kenneth does that. Okay. Now I'm gonna mix my baking powder in here with my flour. Gonna mix that together. Give me a, a whisk here. I'm gonna whisk that together there. Cake flour. I use cake flour sometimes. If you don't have cake flour, by all means, just use what you got. All purpose will work just as well. Okay. Now we're gonna alternate the flour in the wet. I start with dry, end with dry, y'all. cream in there. Some more flour. the sour cream to this. Then we're gonna just put just enough flour in here where it's incorporated and I'm gonna mix the rest by hand. Okay, the rest of the flour in here. Do not try to over mix my, my batter because you're going to have a tough cake. Move y'all over here while I'm working. Okay. Get all that excess stuff off the beaters. Get that to your kids if you want to. Okay. Mix this up just like this. Like I said, I like to mix the rest by hand. Get all the way down on the bottom there. All that batter off the bottom. You'll make sure it's evenly distributed. And you that's it. There we go. Okay. Let me 
We get just the flavoring is out of the way. Now, like I said, we're just gonna put it in. Uh, make sure your oven is preheated, y'all. They're 325 degrees. Cause we're gonna cook this for about an hour and 20 minutes. Now I check mine after an hour. Just to make sure it's doing good. Cause every stove is different. If you watch my live last week, when I did my cake on an electric oven, it was a totally disaster, y'all. So I gotta get used to my electric oven in Arlington. in here my buddy daddy jack would say waste not won't not or won't not waste not how he said it get all this out of here all right got all that in there trying to spread it around there evenly like i say 300 25 degrees for about 80 minutes, hour, hour and 20 minutes. Um, but check it out to 60 minutes, 50 to 60 minutes. Trying to check it out. It ain't going to be ready before then, I tell you that. So anyway, we'll be back once this is done. And uh, we'll let it cool a little and we'll slice into it. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all. I got, uh, this took about an hour and 10 minutes on mine, y'all. So what I'm going to do, I already flipped it out and everything. I'm going to let this cool uh, a little bit. I let it cool completely because I got a few things I need to take care of. I'm going to come back. We're going to stick those 79 candles. Not 79 candles, but the candles. 79 in there. And uh, we're going to cut it up. And we're going to see how it tastes. See if my mom will be, be proud, looking down, being proud of uh, how I did this year. So, anyway, we'll be back here in about three hours or whatever. Of course, you two will be back in seconds. So, anyway, we'll be right back. Old school sour cream pound cake for my mom's heavenly birthday. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. I got the cake ready here, all sliced up. And I don't know why it got a hole in the middle of this cake, y'all. I have no idea. But, hey, it is what it is. But like I said, my mom was here. It would be her 79th birthday. And she wouldn't care if it was a hole in the cake. <laughs> she would love it anyway. Because I'm the one made it for her for love. So, anyway, let's taste this bad boy. I already know it's good, y'all. I already know it's good. I made it many, many, many times. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much, y'all. And one thing I like about pound cake, a little crispy edge on the top. <laughs> mm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Go ahead. Mm, mm, mm. It's not literally, figuratively, and legitimately nothing like a good homemade pound cake y'all and like i say if my mom had to live to see today she would have been big 79 years old but god had other plans for her and us, us as well so anyway happy happily happy heavenly birthday to my mom may she rest in peace i know she is and i'll be joining her soon and very soon like they say so anyway i love y'all let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024. Just show some. No, it ain't. Stop wishing, start doing. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.